hundred men. Ten weeks. Some three ships. October 12, 1492. Columbus discovered the new world. And there was much rejoicing. But that is not history. Merely a story. Bloody officials hid the truth. The Avant Armada was forgotten. These true heroes were eradicating evil long before Columbus started packing. Here be dragons finally tells the tale of these events. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell, if you don't know me, and today we're playing turn-based strategy game Here Be Dragons. Uh, Red Zero Games was nice enough to provide us with a preview copy of the game, and it'll be released into early access on Steam Thursday or Friday of this week. Uh, but the game feels really polished to me. We'll go ahead and uh, start a new game here. Uh, so you can kind of see the intro. Um, there's always all these little uh, cutscenes here. Um, there's dialogue for everything. Uh, the tutorial is uh, probably the best I've ever played. I mean, it really takes you through uh, each and every step uh, gradually, step by step, so by the end uh, you really know what you're doing and are ready to play uh, strategically. If there's a downside to the game, um, it's not something you'll want to play, replay, because two-thirds of it is tutorial. Now I've played through uh, the game once already, uh, learning as I went along, and I wanted to replay it again from a perspective of knowing what was going on and how to play, so I didn't enjoy that. But I would love to see all of the levels unlocked at the end, so you can just go back and replay some of the harder, harder battles just for fun. Uh, because I absolutely do not want to go through um, these tutorial levels again. We'll go ahead and, uh, and go through the first one, uh, just so you can get an idea of uh, just how how it'll walk you through step by step so you're not so you're not just uh, thrust into uh, this strategy game without having any idea what's going on what in the blazes do my eyes deceive me we're firing on fishermen again uh, some of this is a hit or miss for me uh, but I like that it's included and it gives you all of these nice uh, captions you click, you have to click to, uh, to go so nothing's going to go too fast for you. Uh, it explains what's going on. Uh, they try and put a little humor in there as well, which I appreciate. Uh, there's a little bit of, a little, uh, a little bit of salty language, maybe uh, more mature content, but it's nothing uh, that I think anyone would, would ha take issue with. Or at least I didn't. <laughs> My lord. It nice and slow. Uh, there's not much on the screen. We're focusing on one thing at a time and it's explaining it to you. And you get the basics and now the next step uh, will add something more. And you'll proceed. And you're going to go ahead and, uh, and go on uh, through the letters, uh, through the levels, uh, just like this, and as you're learning it, it's you're engaged, and uh, this is engrossing. Uh, but I have to tell you, I am uh, sitting here today. Uh, there is no way I want to play through these tutorial levels again with you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, skim and skip through the introductory content, and this is cracked me up so much. Do you see this? Choke the cherub, slacker. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I laughed at that. Uh, I fibbed a little bit. Every turn of the fight starts with something even more awesome. Rolling dice. Press and hold the cursor on the cherub, and the poor guy spits out dice. <laughs> 
uh, so again, uh, uh, some of it, some of the humor falls flat for me, uh, but some of it is really enjoyable. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're not going to play through this, any more of this. Um, if you're interested, in, I think we've shown the game enough to where you're interested, um, but not sure if you'd be comfortable playing the game. Uh, just how in-depth the t uh, tutorial goes. But we're going to go ahead and uh, skip ahead um, to the last campaign of the game and the last battle. I went ahead and uh, I've already played it <laughs> and recorded it as I went because, again, I didn't want to keep re replaying all of this. But I wanted to give you um, uh, one, one battle where you see everything that uh, the game entails. And here we are. I went ahead and I saved the last battle on the last map uh, to show you guys. Uh, this is not going to be easy. I've won it two times, uh, but I've had many, many attempts on this. It's a Song of the Sea 6.3 Sea Wars. And I thought I would go ahead and uh, show you the last battle just so you can get an idea of, of what you're uh, dealing with here. Now there's a nice progression up until this point. By the time you get here, you'll have learned all of the rules and all of the strategies from the previous battles and you'll need to apply them for this uh, fight. But like I said, it would not surprise me a bit if we lose. Uh, but we'll try our best uh, to win, of course. Now we have a, a pool of uh, mermaids down here and if the dice reach a total of 15, um, they can send reinforcements into fight which is just absolutely devastating for us if it happens. But let's roll and see what happens. Now this is good. Um, if you take a look at these mermaids, they have a lot of defense. This one has three, this one has four. If you look at our firepower, we have six combined. Six minus three, we would only hurt her for three. Uh, and we would only hit her for, what, two? Six minus four? Yeah, we'd only hit her for two. Uh, we really need to buff our cannons. So we are going to uh, take the hit and lose the initiative over here in order to do that. Uh, it's the only way that I've been successful winning this fight, so yeah. It's no guarantee, but it helps. And luckily enough, if there's only one trident, they can't hurt us, so that is fine. And we want to uh, focus our fire on this smaller mermaid over here just to get her out of the fight as quick as we can. And now that with our combined firepower, we can hit her for five, which is good. What's not good is we're going to have to get this guy out of the way. That trident throw is just... A bad news but the mermaids what makes them so bad is they have high defense and they have a devastating attack this mermaid song it gives us a debuff which means we can't use our specials and every time uh, with this seduction icon over here, we lose heart. We lose two hearts at the end of every turn. It is absolutely devastating, and we need to get it removed as quick as possible. Um, so we need a five or a six to do that, which means we will be putting a five over here, and then we have one left, which means that we are putting a one over here. And you'll see that we spend this entire fight just trying to deal with the damage from the mermaids, and we can't really go on the offense which makes it particularly hard. Okay, but we can, what do we have? Eight minus three is five. We can take her out. Eight minus one is seven. We cannot take him out. So we're gonna get hit with that trident. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. So bad, guys. Well, let's at least get rid of this one. It's the least we can do. Goodbye. We don't like your kind around here. This He has a really bad attack. Uh, in a perfect world, we would have liked to have taken him out. 
but let's remove one of our debuffs only to have another one put back in place. And then we can heal somebody, so we're gonna heal this boat up here. But it's not gonna do any good. Look at that, so bad. And, oh, at least we don't have anything pinned in place though, I guess because there wasn't one. Oh, we lucked out with that. Or do we have something pinned? Look at that terrible roll. Um, is that pinned? No, okay. What do we have going on here? We want to, we can't remove the seduction and they can use a two. So we definitely wanna use this two. Here and here. And this is good because this is gonna give us a six for the next round is, and we do need that. So that is good for us. Yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. What are they down here? 14, a new enemy is gonna be coming into battle soon. Now, he is at seven and we have, we can kill him. And I'm wondering if we need to. Or do we DPS her down? Let's take a chance to get some life off of her. I can tell, I don't think we're gonna win this at all, but we're just gonna go ahead and uh, keep playing and you can see what's involved here. And depending on how long it takes us to lose, will depend on whether or not we uh, try again or we might just wrap it up with uh, and take our losses and be done. So uh, get that shit back, a little bit of health. Oh, at least we have a six. And, well, yeah, we're gonna put this six up here because we wanna, reduce, we wanna remove this debuff. That is a given. And we're going to use our errata and decrease this by one so we can use it. And it makes sense to use it here. But now who do we want to attack? Do we want to preemptively get that trident out of the way or do we want to try again for the mermaid here to get her down? No, no! Oh, <laughs> oh that is what's so bad about it because these were in such a weak position already. And then to have that happen, oh, it's so bad. Well, it is what it is. Let's, since she's, uh, has half health now, let's keep going for the big one. And then we'll have to kill him the next turn, I think. So let's remove that. Heal. Well, at least we still have two ships in the fight, even if we got a brand new combat and Get our, let's get our little bottle. And it looks like we have the initiative somehow, some way. Oh, this is tempting. Really, really tempting. If they can, this, this group cannot use sixes. So if we put in two sixes over here, the entire, each enemy would take two damage, which is pretty tempting. But sixes are so good for us, I don't think that we can get rid of, we can uh, give that up. If we had five and five, 10 minus four, nine minus four is six, we can take her out. 
and we can do one damage to these guys over here and guarantee a roll for let's do that let's do that now what this is going to mean is that we're going to get a six on our next turn and we're going to be able to kill this siren okay that's good Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. We can't kill her. We, we need to take out this guy before he hits us with, uh... With that trident. We can't, we can't afford it. That is such a waste. But it has to be done. Mistakes were made. And there they are setting the, the dice up in their favor. And But we'll get a six, so that is good for us. And we can remove this seduction, which is good. Collect our bottle. A one and a six. She would take it. I'm saying bad words in my head, Sky. Okay, um, oh, we can get a two damage to everybody. That is good. That is good, 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 good. Yes. Yes, please. This, and we are going to decrease this by one so we can use it and get a six for our next turn, which is so important. So there we go, and this is going to do two damage to everybody, but we have to take out this girl because she's almost dead. Yeah. We might we might be able to pull this one out by somehow, some way. Got to do it. You're dead. Yay! Feels like such a, like the tide might be changing here. Now she's going to set herself up with a three, which is fine. And we're going to get a six for ourselves, which is good. And let's do an extra two damage to her. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Mm, that three is not good for us. Okay, so now she's definitely gonna get a chance to debuff us. Um, but yeah, we want a six over here. And we want to do the exact same thing. We'll get a two, and that'll guarantee us a two for next time. A six for next time, which is good. So let's do that. Our health is decent, so we're not going to waste our dice on healing ourselves. Uh, I like it. This is looking good. They're only on an eight. I think we might win, guys. I'm so glad, since I'm recording this. <laughs> it's, it's a... Oh, we are so close. We're going to kill her. We won. Yay. And now we can, uh, we'll let her. Oh, no. We didn't win. Because she knocked that off of us. <laughs> Celebrating too early. Let's get another six. You were going down. We're going to drown. And are we just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna keep doing what we've been doing because uh, that has been working out for us. Yep, finish. She goes first, but it doesn't matter because she doesn't have a physical attack. See you later, fish girl. Son of a biscuit eater. Son of a biscuit eater. We won, victory, yay. And there we go. Uh, what do you guys think? There on the seas, I finally tasted life. There on the seas, it cut my heart like a knife. <laughs> well, then, I'll let you sing quietly to yourselves. Fish. <laughs> and 
there we are, to be continued. What do you think? Uh, the art looks really great. Uh, the dialogue uh, was a bit hit or miss for me, um, but I really enjoyed the combat and had a lot of fun learning the dice system. It's, it's challenging enough to be interesting, uh, but not so hard you give up. Um, the game is going to be released in early access on Steam later this week on the 15th or 16th, I believe. I do not know the price point for the game yet, but there's about four hours of content here, so you can judge accordingly. And there's links in the descriptions if you want to check this one out. If there's any interest, I guess we can revisit this one later? I don't know. Um, Turn-based strategy is certainly something new for us. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. But for now, we'll go ahead and we'll put Here Be Dragons in our grab bag, which is a new playlist for games that don't turn into a series. Uh, and yeah, that is all. Thank you for joining me. Your support means so much. The likes and the comments and all of that good stuff. Uh, so nice of you all. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye for now.